Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today we're going to talk about stocks that the room wanted me to talk about. So I asked the question, anybody want to give me a couple tickers talked about after hours today? And this is what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the Bitcoin, Mara and Riot, Fubo, NVDA, Rocket, ORCL, XL, and FSLY. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what, what could have caused a big run today in Merit and Riot? Well, I believe they've been, they've, they've been on a momentum run anyway, but little catalyst today was Elon buying at $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin and also hurrahing Dodge. So I think it's just got a lot of people interested. Elon Musk, is, you know, it's just got a lot of people wanting to go ahead and run this run up. Merit had a great day today. He ran up 42%. Riot ran up 40. These are like brother and sister to each other. I think I have. And then, you know, I'll go ahead and continue with the rest of these over here. But this is the call that Miss Vegas made on, excuse me, on a Mara, $25. Calls were at 227 and February the 12th on a, and this day was on the 2nd. That was last week. Well, we pull up the cost of them right now, and I think she said that, what was that, a uh, $25 strike is now sitting right here at $7.30. So in a week, it's about a $500 gain. So yeah, that's a great call on Mara. Uh, the scanner just spitted them out today. We have a pretty good scanner in the room. We kind of adjusted it this week to maybe catch a little bit more of these poppers and We've done very well, but 730 is what it is at now. So let's go ahead and pull up the chart. And there's a great call by Miss Vegas, by the way. And a couple other people in the room were calling them out too. I also called one out, but that was real sweet. Um, then she called a couple more out for today to swing into tomorrow. So let's go ahead and pull up the chart. We're going to type in Mara. Oh, that ain't the one I want to use. I'm going to use this one right, well, this one here. There we go. And I'll just put these two side by side for right now. We got Riot and Mara. So they, I mean, what a great run for both of these. And these always run together, especially it runs with the way Bitcoin's running. Like Bitcoin's running down, these can pull back. If not, they can go ahead and continue on up. Well, I've got a, we broke out of all my resistances. I think these two are now at a lifetime high. So we've got uh, Riot here at 35 that needs to break, and we've got Mare over here at 34 that needs to break. Now each one of these will sister along with each other, and they'll climb up together, or they'll pull back together. So you have the choice of your two. Uh, you know, one day I'm thinking Riot's the big one, and then I'm thinking Mare is the one that I want to be in. So you just kind of today, they just kind of ran even Steven. Actually, I think Mara probably had a little bit more momentum behind it. But Riot, I mean, just, just went sideways and pulled back a couple of times, which gave you a great opportunity to get into the trade. So we're going to try to find a support just in case this thing pulls back at all for us tomorrow. And I'm looking at that right here, right around 31.27 on Mara. And then maybe that next first support right here, right around the 31.92. So if they, you know, dip after hours or they pull back, the momentum's pretty strong on these right now. So, you know, I think we can go ahead and break that um, $34 and take this up to 35 and trade it in dollar increments. I'm going to be trading it in dollar or 50% increments. So that means if we break this 34, we take it to 34, 50, 35. Uh, I think we could have a target easily said on Mara at 40 bucks. Same as Riot. I think it'll be the same kind of catalyst. We got to break this 35, take it to 35, 50, 36, up to forty dollars too. And then support on we got the Mara support here at 31, 27 to 31, 92. That support channel, and then Riot. I think we could stop right here at 32, 80, and that would be your really testing point right there. Unless you really did fail, 31, 41 right there. That's a beautiful little, if you want to learn how to chart, that's a beautiful way to pull these back and to jump on up. So that's Riot and Mara. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be Fubo. 
And we're going to go ahead and pull this chart up. I'm going to link this to my thingamajigger here. And Fubo. Fubo's had a couple days sell off. We tried to break the triple hot top, but it just couldn't do it. We did have uh, lower highs, which kind of tells me that we were ready for a pullback on the third time it bounced up there. If we can bounce off this 200 on the 20 day, that would be great. And that's the 200 EMA. If not, I've got three other support levels and one solid strong buy down here at 38.97. So we've got if if this support level at 46, what is this? 46. 10 does not hold it can pull back to these other three support levels at 44 46 42 um i can't read these over here so i'm going to magnify this up a little bit there i can see them a lot better now so we got 44 46 if this 46 15 does not hold 42 39 and then that 40 83 now these are strong support levels and if none of these don't hold, I don't see it. I'm going to raise the bar up on this Fubo up here to right around for a solid buy right at 39.85. Now the resistance that we got to break is going to, if it does decide to go ahead and reverse after the couple day pullback, the resistance that we need to break is going to be right here at 52.77. So we're kind of in a, I don't know, a pivot point area. Actually, we broke below... I'm just thinking if we can hold this 4526 as 200 EMA, we'll go ahead and retrace back up. If not, we'll pull back to these other three supports and then definitely try to hold this 3985 area. That's exactly what it is. And that's Fubo. So I'm semi bullish on it. I think it'll pull back for another day and then maybe start to retrace back up. NVDA. What a great run on this baby today. Now, they've got some targets on this. If I can remember right, let me see if I can find them here. It's been a while. I thought they had for like 600 or something. Yeah, 672. Someone hikes the... the and we have another one here at 625. And this is probably right after when earnings came out. And we did kind of have a little pullback a little bit on it from the triple top right here that we had and then she pulled back and then she broke that triple top on the 20 day so my target on the video would be 600 first and then that 625 support levels are going to be right down here with a solid buy at 556.72 that's we're going to take that previous high where we had the triple top breakout and that there's right there at 556.72 with a resistance to break up to $600. And if we can break six, 625 on NVIDIA. And I do like NVIDIA a lot. And we just had a wonderful, beautiful breakout on that thing today. So keep in mind, strong buy at 556.72. Your second support or your third support's right here at 561.23. Then you got 564.65. And we really like to see this 571.43 hold. If that holds, we'll take it back up to 6. And that's NVIDIA. The next one we're going to talk about is going to be RKT. RKT is probably one of my favorite uh, real estate plays right now. Also, it's probably one of the highly shorted stocks. So every time it has a good breakout, they're going to try to pull it back on you. And I do believe we have a solid support right here at 2093. If it goes down to 2093, that'll be a double bottom play to trace it back up to right around this, I'm thinking, right here at 2217. And that's what we got to break. If she does reverse back up to that 2217, we can get 2254 and then maybe run this sucker all the way up here right around to 2323. I'm going to go ahead and jot that in there right now with a, a strong resistance at 2367 and then a hard resistance right here at, right at 2425. So strong buy, no lower than 2093. That should hold. That'll be a double bottom. And we can keep it in this channel right here with a resistance to break at 2217, 
2254, 2323, and then on up. You can stop these videos at any time and jot these numbers down. That'll be well appreciated. The next one we're going to look at is going to be ORCL. ORCL is a real nice play if you know how to play her. She does like to pull back on a good breakout. As you can tell on the 20 day, let's look at the yearly real fast. We had a yearly high up here at 66.20 and we've pulled back from that yearly high and we actually broke down below resistance level which was at 61.62. So that to me is going to be a solid support at that 61.62 if it does decide to go ahead and pull back in the morning or tomorrow. We had a beautiful day today. I think you could have picked about anything and made a trade on it. It was an incredible day today. And um, so I'm thinking maybe, you know, if it does decide to pull back to a double bottom or a triple bottom right down here at 6018, that is going to be another strong buy. So in, somewhere anywhere in this channel between 6018 and 6162, I think she'll go ahead and reverse back up. Resistance that we got to break is going to be this line right here at 6371 and then bring it up to the double top at 65.35 and try to break that resistance level. A lot of times I exit a trade on a double top, play the pullback. And anytime I see a triple top, I just take all my profit. So the next one we're going to be looking at is XL. XL. XL Fleet Corporation. Now this is kind of a bearish little pattern to me in a way. I'm going to check out the news. 10 consumers, 10 discretionary stocks, options alert today. Let's see what they have to say. I just want to check this out real fast. And um, XL, these are the put call ratios. XL is bullish, 25 bucks. So we're going to look at it in a bullish way. I'm going to go ahead and clean this chart up. Well, let me see. We'll magnify it up to a 20-day. So they got a $25 target on this. I mean, that doesn't persuade me, but it just kind of lets me know. And I can tell by looking at the chart if I'm bullish or not. We've got a nice little ascending triangle right here. And I'll flip part, chart it up for you. had a couple want ask me how to use it uh, she kind of broke kind of went sideways out of that but we're gonna go ahead to me this is kind of an ascending triangle pattern and there's a resistance that we got to break and it's gonna be right up in here we're about ready to squeeze on that trend line so I'm thinking probably right in here is a resistance that we got to break it's gonna be that 2098 if we can get past that we can run this up to the triple top at 2190 and then get to 2226 and then 2288 2326 and then long to 2372 or even take it to 25 but I like to see it hold this trend line or at least not go any lower than this support channel right here at 1957 to 1976 and that's XL so let's look at it tomorrow when we come in. Any kind of pullback on this is going to be a buy signal. And then we're going to take it and try to break resistance at 2190. And the last one we're going to talk about is FSLY. Here's another good one. We called this out last month. I mean, down here in the low 80s, we had a high of 122.75 with a resistance right here at 126.60. So we got to break the next resistance. It's going to be this 114.63. And then you have a support level, which is going to be right here at, at 110.13. I'm going off all these highs that just couldn't break. And then we finally did break. And then she's going to hold that support, hopefully. If not, she'll pull back to this 200 on the 20-day. And I think maybe 
you know, I'm kind of liking this. Oh, here we go. This area right in here. We'll turn this into a red line. This is where I want it to hold, actually. I'd like to see this number hold right here at 105.78 if it does dip on down to that area. But we do have a support channel right in here, and it needs to hold this support level of 110.13 to break up to resistance level of 114.63, and then maybe right here around 117.38, long 120.26 for a double top for an exit spot, or maybe even go a little bit higher. And that's FSLY. I do like this stock a lot. We were calling this out with a buddy of mine down when it was at 150, 140, and we've gone up this high already, and it ain't been very long ago. Let me look back here on the yearly. We were calling this thing down here at, what the heck? It had to have been back down in here right around 80 bucks is when we were calling it, if I remember right. Because we were talking about this triple bottom down here. Then we had that V-shape that landed right on that 200 uh, EMA. So I always like to use that 200 on the yearly. So this is how we're going to look at this stock again. Let's pull it back to the 20-day. Again, solid buy down here right at 105.78. Your uh, second support, your third support here at 106.81. Then we're going to find a little pivot point area in this channel, and that's going to be right here. This will be your second support at 108.39. We like to see this 110.13 hold and then run it back up and break resistance at 114.63, 117.38, and 120.60. And I do like this. I do like this stock a lot. So that's it for the market report. Also, we're going to pull up the little website here. We have a little Twitter bird over here. If you hit that, that'll take you to Miss Vegas and I Love Stocks, where we have our posting alerts in here on a daily basis. She's posting alerts in here, and she copies a few of mine and adds them on in here. So the, uh, also on the website, we do have our little stock twits links. I'm just waiting to see this thing change to 3,200 soon. So if you do have a stock twits account, hit that follow button, subscribe, and follow. And Miss Vegas also has one, stock twits. You can always hit her follow button. She'd really appreciate that too. Always remember... Hit that like button, ring that bell for future updates, and I'll be putting these videos out quite a bit. And we wish everybody a great tomorrow, and today was a great day for trading. About everything I looked at was a trade, almost everything. And, you know, I was telling Vegas, I've been doing this for 15, 16 years, and for the last year, I don't think I've ever seen the market do as well as it has. And I give that a lot of credit to the retail traders that are, I think they're just kind of just adding on day by day. You know, this is going to be a good way to work from home in the near future. And I think we're going to be in very good competition with a lot of these fat cats. I know more people that became millionaires last year than I've known my whole trading career altogether. So I just want to bring that point across. Personally, people that I know personally. And I've never seen that before. And so last this year of 2020 and 2021 is going to be great. Just keep on kicking it and we'll see you tomorrow. I love stocks. Have a great day.